What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jess the Bat Magical, aka the Buff Collector. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Jazzwares Spartan Collection Wave 3 Noble Six Figure. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them i upload new content constantly throughout the week so make sure you hit that bell icon so you stay notified when i do upload new videos and if you guys do enjoy this video or any of the other ones i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow and it lets me know you guys are enjoying the content that i put out and if you guys want to support the channel in any way all i ask you guys watch my videos from start to finish as well as going ahead and checking out those amazon affiliate links down below there you'll find all sorts of cool figures stuff associated with toy photography, and so much more. As always, the information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much to this channel's sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, and Pokemon card needs. And of course, use code COOLFIGURES at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys. So with all that out of the way, we are once again taking a look at the brand new Jazzware Spartan Collection. Noble six figure from their wave three or series three as they call it. They're calling these series not waves um, But yeah guys, this is definitely the figure that I wanted from this wave the most Besides obviously master chief I definitely wanted this new master chief because if you have not seen my review of the of the new master chief from yesterday I'll link it up above I wanted him because he has significant changes and differences in his body not just in his articulation um you know when it comes from wave one and two so i definitely wanted him but second to him was definitely this guy this guy is so badass look at him all in dark silver or dark gray um charcoal gray he just looks like a really cool spartan uh um, it makes me really hope and want an odst and i swear if they do i'm gonna buy multiple of them because obviously that's just what they are they're a team so you need that that could possibly be Jazzwares first army builder. I've predicted McFarlane's first army builder, which he hasn't done yet, but I'm telling you, he should, which is the parademons. If he releases some parademons, that's just money that he can print because so many people are going to buy those for army builders. If Jazzwares comes out with ODSTs in this line, they are literally going to be printing money because so many people are going to be buying them as army builders. So, I was definitely excited when I happened to come across this guy and I could not be more excited and ecstatic to bring you guys this review. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories and what he comes with. So he is actually holding and using all the accessories uh, that he comes with. So we're first going to take a look at his hands and then we're going to go ahead and pull stuff off of him. So first off, he does come with a pair of open hands right there as you can see next up he does come with a pair of fisted hands and he does come with a pair of gripping hands which he is actually using right there to hold the rifle and the knife so last and certainly not least he does come with a alternate you know unique multifunctional hand either moving forward saluting pressing comms doing stuff it's a multifunctional hand that you can use for a whole array of different types of things so with that being said let's go ahead and start pulling stuff off of him what i do like about this guy is that not only does he come with a knife and a and a rifle but he also comes with a sidearm so in wave two they released a spartan that came with a shotgun and a knife and to me, that's a little lackluster. I feel like he should have came with a sidearm. And thankfully, they fixed that mistake and they gave this guy a sidearm. Now, in my Master Chief review, I mentioned that the gun he came with was still that flimsy plastic that they're used to using in the first two series. Now, if we go ahead and pull this guy forward, we'll go ahead and start with the big gun right here, the assault rifle. It is still slightly flimsy and flexible. However, it's does have a thicker feel to it but as you can see it is still bendy and flexible but it does feel a lot thicker it does have a lot more detailing in it it has that white stripe right there as you can see at the top and it just you know helps differentiate things on the body a lot nicer and gives it a little more character so like I said this guy does come with a knife so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out from his hand right now 
and it is all black there's no other paint apps on it so it's pretty plain and basic but it is nice to have a knife with these guys and his knife does sit right here in this uh, chest sheath right there so last but certainly not least she does come with a sidearm and it is the classic halo magnum pistol right here and I guess his signature is the stripe on his gun because his pistol also has a stripe over the barrel of the gun. So that is all the accessories that he comes with. So like all the other figures in this line, he does come with the feature of having the side panels removable to be able to pop out so that you can you know, go ahead and attach a side weapon right there so that he can have it holding on his side. Or if you don't want that, you can go ahead and pop that, the gun off. You can go ahead and pop that off and flip it around and it fits right there back in and if you turn him around he does have one on his back right here which you can pop out but it's a very small one as you can see right there flip it around put it back whoops flip it around put it back in and once it's in it's not really in stable right here um let me see if i can there we go i heard a little snap so once it's in there you can attach his rifle to his back so yeah that's really cool because in wave one uh, they were all just there there was no uh, actual option to pull it out and flip it so that it's you know a flush back piece like this or a piece that looks a lot more flush than you know a peg sticking out on a character's back um, so thankfully they've upgraded that and they are learning you know they are making improvements on this line as they go along so with that being said guys let's go ahead and pull this guy forward get a nice good look at him this guy is super cool like i said he definitely reminds me of an odst and i definitely definitely hope that they give us one of those very soon uh sooner rather than later maybe in series four who knows because um i'm really hoping they give us some covenant aliens in series four because i have a bunch of spartans but no aliens for them to fight. I mean, maybe some grunts because the world of Halo grunts actually scale better with these Spartan collection figures than they do with the world of Halo, Halo figures. But other than that, we have no elites, we have no brutes, we have no jackals. So, I mean, come on, Jazzwares, please give us a series. We, we have enough Master Chiefs at this point. Please give us a whole series of just aliens. Give us a brute, give us a jackal, give us an elite. And maybe give us a second elite or even a grunt at this point. Like, I don't care. Just give us something. Or make it the ODST. Give us the ODST in that line. And make that ODST, like, doubled up in each pack. Because that is definitely going to be an army builder. In fact, that whole wave would be an army builder. Because they just would be. So, I don't know. But I really hope we do get some aliens sometime in this line. As well as an ODST. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a nice good look. So, he is very nicely done. He has a light brush silver um, with some nice blue, uh, light blue accents right there. Looking at his back, it does continue to the back. As you can see, there's a few little blue lights and accents right there. So the one thing that I do complain about in these figures is <laughs> their shoulders. They're too round. It doesn't look animat It doesn't look anatomically correct. It just looks a little too robotic. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of a robot. Instead of a person being inside the suit, it looks and feels to me as if it's a robot instead of a person. But that's just me. What are your guys' thoughts on the shoulders right here? I, I personally have a gripe when the shoulder is smaller than the insert. So, because it just looks so weird. Um, but that's just me. But it's still a really cool figure besides that one gripe. I mean, I absolutely love the color. We've actually gone this figure a few times uh, in blue, or I'm sorry, in red, and in green and gray, and a f I think one other color. So it's just a repaint basically, but it is a nice repaint on this guy. So with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation. He can look all the way to the right all the way to the left until his chin hits his sheath right there and then he stops he can look down ah, very little that much and he can look up basically just straight back at you uh, of course no head tilt right there his the head articulation on these guys are very are very limited uh, but his shoulder joint does allow him for to go all the way in a t-pose 360 rotation right there 360 rotation at the bicep joint double hinge elbows rotation at the wrist in and out hinging at the wrist 
no real movement or, or rotation at the waist or else he will pop off the ball joint he does have a little bit of a tilt and movement right there though but you can't really rotate because if you squeeze if you pull or push hard enough it will just pop off so i'm not going to do that so looking at his leg articulation ooh, he is not like master chief and he can actually join the cheerleading squad so taking a look at his forward leg articulation he can kick far that far can't kick back too far he does have double hinge knees but much like master chief he does have this chunky knee joint right here so it doesn't go back too far um looking at his leg articul or his ankle articulation it goes down that far goes up that far ball rocker hinge joint and last but certainly not least toe articulation which is really stuck on this guy oh there it goes i guess i was pushing it in the wrong spot so right there you get some toe articulation like mcfarland toys so all in all guys i'm super happy i found this guy especially this guy in particular like i said very much reminds me of an odst and i'm super happy in fact if i find another one i might just pick him up and uh basically use these guys as odst but i'm not too sure we'll get there when we get there and if we even happen to find these guys again and so which we might because they tend to not be in stock when they first drop they've tend to you know fly off the shelves and then afterwards they tend to just peg warm so i'm sure after a few weeks maybe a month you'll start to see these guys just sitting on the shelves but with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool picks that i took of this guy and we'll be right back Real quick, before you check out those picks, I just want to say these guys do not come with a trigger finger hand, guys. Unfortunately, I do not know why a first-person shooter game character does not come with a trigger finger. But these guys don't. They come with C-grip hands, as you can see right there. So, the thing I did notice, though, is with the Magnum, it's not too big of an issue because it's this open area. So, it looks fine right there, as well as with the battle rifle or the assault rifle because... It's all basically, you know, one, you know, slanted piece. So it actually fits. Um, but if you really don't like this separation right here, like I don't, like I personally don't like this, I'm probably going to go back and do this to this figure. I, like I said, I do have the rest of the wave. And one of the figures comes with a gun that has a trigger hole. And when he was holding his gun, it just looked so awkward that I went ahead and just got a straight razor. Once again, this channel is for adult collectors and not children. If you are a child, do not do this at home. Do not do this without parental supervision. In fact, do not do this at all. Ask your parents. But with that being said, uh, what I did is I got a straight blade and I went ahead and separated the index finger from the middle finger. Not all the way, just enough to get it into the trigger hole. So I'm probably going to do that with this fig figure as well because... It just looks so weird not getting that finger to go up right there. So, with that being said, guys, let's go check out those picks. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those picks, you can find the full images over on Instagram at CoolFigures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited picks called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out if you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of this figure or any of the other figures I do reviews on for this channel, check me out on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I do all my unboxings because when I get a new toy guys, I am like a child and I cannot wait to rip it open. So I do all my unboxings on tiktok real quick just upload it so check me out at cool figure and join me every sunday for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will talk all the latest and great toy news toy hauls and so much more so with that being said guys if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up it really helps channel grow if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button but whether or not you're a subscriber thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys i really do appreciate it as always i'm your host jesse the bat Madrigal, aka the buff collector and I will talk to you guys in the next video.